Shay boys, Shay girls, we got so, uh, something exciting coming in today. So far, so good. You'll be good. Yeah. Woo. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. you doing well? I might just... Today we got quite a special vehicle for a backseat review. It's a Lamborghini Urus. Probably the best backseat that we could be reviewing. So we're gonna hop in. We have Lucas's father. He's oh. the one that showed us the Bugatti in our other video. He was kind enough to bring by this Urus so we could do this video. So yeah. It's gonna be a great ride. You said 650 horse? Yeah. All right. The top end on it is about approximately 190 miles an hour, and it'll do north of 60 and about 3.6. That's nice for that size. I washed my hands very recently, so. Woo! V8 turbocharged, twin turbo? Yep. This has the firing order right there? Yeah, it is. When you order one of these, they, they send you a, or we send you a, uh, like a glass paperweight with the same little black on it with the firing order. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's important. I like those lights so much. Yeah, I think those are. I think the grill on that. Yeah. So is this a big camera right here? Yeah, I think so. Oh uh, yeah, it looks what like a camera. <laughs> business in here. <laughs> you only ever need to bang the paddles once just to put the car into first gear and then it'll drive automatic and it's an automatic car basically. Um, paddles are really quick um, and so when I go down in the sport it, you can hear the so the revs raise a little bit and it changes my dash a little bit. Yeah, just yeah, it will drop. What do you think? Car go fast. <laughs> That's it boys. That's and it. girls. <laughs> Sit in the back of it. I don't know. Sit, sit in the back and of watch. the Lamborghini while someone's driving. <laughs> I mean, like watching like a movie from a driving theater. I don't know. <laughs> Having a picnic. <laughs> um, apparently, they they can quite comfortably get like 750 out of this block without doing oh, yeah, much I'm of sure a they, tweak. They, this is probably not as high as the boost could go. No. 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 So it will. Um, so there will be some kind of. I'm sure there will be like a, a super trofeo version or some performante version of this thing. That'd be crazy. No question. Like yeah. eight-way seat control. Yeah, that's because this is the four-seat configuration. Mm -hmm. If it was eight, oh, wow. sorry, if it was the five-seat configuration, you wouldn't have that center console. Yeah. And the back and the seats would be able to flip down, and you'd be able to use this space. Oh. In the four-seat, you can't flip the seats down because there's that wall across the front. Hmm. I like the four-seat better. Get the whole console. Look how deep this goes. <laughs> up to your elbow. You can have a bottle of, bottle of wine back here. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I guarantee you this is insulated. Oh, yeah. 
keep your hot pockets in there. <laughs> your 12 inch Jimmy John's. <laughs> Nice. A lot of people use it. It's going to make all these systems Is that the climate control? Navigation yeah. and everything else. What's up, Jacob? What's up? Just me and Alex. I don't know what any of those. Sport is the only one that I could guess. Yeah, I don't know. I think Corsa is like, like the biggest. I thought that said Eco, but it says Ego. It is. <laughs> ego mode. I don't know. So this is the uh, driver's view. This is the cockpit. Oh, those little tweeters that pop up? Yeah. That's yeah, that's the three, oh, wow. that's a B&O 3D sound system. Cool. Jeez, this thing is so luxurious. Like the Lexus with 26 speakers or something? Or the <laughs> yeah, those are the C8 Corvette. Yeah, the Corvette it's also has like... Up. 18 speakers in it. So we've got not only what is kind of rare now in back seats, cup holders. Two of them. We've got a phone holder, an armrest built into it. With the deepest. <laughs> I've you can see my seen. entire arm can fit in there. Probably store a couple wine bottles in that. Two USB Crazy. charging ports as well. I'm sure they're 2.1 amp, <laughs> at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> and then there's a back door hatch. To the back seat or back trunk? Ski hatch. A ski hatch. Yeah, you put your, your skis through there. Oh, oh yeah. Or hockey sticks. I like hockey that. Oh, this is huge. an SUV. You can't take it up the snowy mountain. You said these last three were off road, right? Sabia, yeah, Terra, and Neve. Sand, loose rock, and snow. Nice. To the ability to have the drive. Air vents here. But with here. The soft. With the softest. One right there. Okay. You know, if you don't want that hard assistance. And then we've got you want the noise, but beakers. You want the soft city, right? Um, here. Yeah, so if I go one right down here, into, one right here, one behind us, in the C pillar. It's just gonna watch me to push yeah. yeah, so you really yeah, have surround sound in here. Yeah. Got personal climate control for every zone in the car, and heat seaters, and oh, heat seats heat recline. Heat. It's going crazy. <laughs> so we have our own locking so buttons, windows, course, so more. Mm -hmm. yeah, just side the, pockets. Uh, a unique right. style yeah. of yeah. coat hanger. Own personal map lights. So this is like almost a cockpit back here. No, I have the back here. Have navigation on the left. On there. And all yeah. this up here, Keith. That nice got little. Maps everywhere. Yeah, I know. You can. <laughs> you will never get lost. <laughs> so right now we're in Corsa mode. We are. Shows you the torque percentage. Interesting. Yeah. Torque meter on the right, but we can change that to show torque graph. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful sound. <laughs> oh man. Puts all those Mustang and Camaro V8s you hear to shame. question is, do the rear windows go all the way down? <laughs> ah, no. Ah. But they are sloped, <laughs> so there's only so much they can do. So what would you say is your favorite thing about this vehicle? I, think, I mean, the fact that it's a usable Lamborghini and it's massively yeah. fast, really comfortable. Because of the all-wheel drive, and it was certainly the all-wheel steering, it turns on a dime. They've done a very good job with making a a really usable and really practical, very, very quick Lamborghini. This does have four wheel steering on it? Yeah, three degrees of turn on the back. Wow. That's nice. Which is more than enough. They don't make rear wheel, they did it in the 80s and 90s a lot on cars and they don't do it anymore and I don't know why because it, I, I mean, it's another complication on it, but my it sky, just makes. Skyline, I did. Yeah, Skylines, I did them in Skylines. Mm -hmm. uh, but man, they make them. It just makes, it especially if you have four wheel. Wrong, yeah. Boy, oh boy, it's expensive. But if you have four wheel drive, so your steering gets locked out in the front, right. it's it just makes it so much easier to make these big cars turn. Yeah. What'd you say you think is your favorite about this? Um, all the high quality materials in here. It has that high quality material, clean leather smell. <laughs> the 
It's a bummer the window doesn't go all the way down. <laughs> you know, that, that's, the one down that's the side. one thing I could talk about. <laughs> so we typically find a lot of things that we don't like about back seats in these reviews. But there's not much. Yeah, there's, this there's only one thing on this one. <laughs> it's, the, it's the window. Everything Look else up. I Look just up. love. Yeah, yeah I, I, you do get beautiful. this. Amazing. <laughs> you know, you're going you're gonna to beat any friends in a drag race and you can go on a road trip more comfortably than any other vehicle yeah. as well. You can tell that the people that designed this car actually sat in the back seat. Whereas <laughs> there's a lot of cars you can tell they hadn't even even looked at the back seat. They're like, oh yeah, just throw in our <laughs> throw in a back seat. They sure. wanted it to be a, a four seater, but it wasn't really a four seater. But this they spent some time back here. Yeah, I mean these are cupped you know next to right on bucket uh, seats. Yeah, these, the these are sportier than a lot of sport car seats. Yeah. Like more supportive. Oh, yeah. These seats are super comfortable. I think I have just about the same seats back here. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the, yeah, you do. the same because those yeah. look exactly like the front seats. Yeah. But I mean, they're great. Is it a it's dual clutch around. transmission? Yeah, you can feel it. I love the dual clutch transmissions. If I was going to have an automatic, that's what I'd have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like CVTs. I don't need things. They have problems too. Okay. Yeah. They feel weird. I just don't feel right. Yeah. So outside of those, you have the six options for driving, do you have an ability to manually choose the settings? Yes. On the right hand side I've got a, a, a shifter called an ego setting and that gives me the ability to change it manually to if I want the more sporty gearbox but I want the softer ride and I want the more the more comfortable um, steering, Yeah. then I can do that if I choose to rather that, and that's outside of these these settings. Well, I would buy one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I had the money. Yeah, I just texted Great my girlfriend and I was like, after the RAV4 dies, you're getting a Lamborghini yours. <laughs> <laughs> RAV4s are cool, but not as cool as this. They are, the new RAV4s are nice. I like that they had the, the back window rolls down. All the way? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Got any jumps? I don't know. <laughs> Sucks that so many consumer car brands and makes just like skimp on all these nice, I mean like, you don't need all this no. for everyday car, but a seat like this, I mean, how much Yeah. really much more expensive would it make a car to have comfortable seats? Exactly. Yeah, That's huge. That's have. huge on cars. Yeah. <laughs> Bear, you know, thinking about, bearing in mind that, um, you know, one of the black label or the SV Range Rovers is north of 200 grand. Oh. Yeah. You know, it, it's not the biggest stretch in the world to get, you know, to put another 30, 40 grand into it and get one of these. I really, would. Yeah. I know which yeah. one I'd get. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd spend the extra money for sure. Because I'm not a big fan of SUVs in general. I, there are many I wouldn't buy, but I would. <laughs> the dude who just drove by goes, like, you could like see his left over. He goes, is that a motherfucking Lamborghini? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me call you back in a little bit. I'm in a Lamborghini right now. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the phone broke or what. <laughs> but if you're watching this, Drew, don't be mad. I'm an LMV. <laughs> so, Keaton, what do you think about the back seat? I like it back Apart here. from the windows. <laughs> Apart from the window. It's the best back seat I've ever been in. Yeah. Hands down. I would agree that this is the best back seat I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. Sunset. Yes, the, the Lamborghini glass really lets you see <laughs> the sun. So if I go into ego, I'm in the ego mode now. So I'm over here on this side, and I can just change it. Yes, I'm going to get the Medium suspension. Yep. Medium handling. Smoother, smoother tr transmission. And I can change the suspension up to sport, so I can get that flatter suspension. seen that where, yeah. they, where it builds revs and you see the LED well I have a little bar right on the heads up display okay. that's doing the same thing oh. it shows me a bar of basically a bar of revs 
Is that reflected on the glass? It's in the heads up display okay. right there, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can't see that. How's the passenger shotgun seat feel, Lucas? It's pretty luxurious, man. It's pretty nice. Yeah? I feel like 